Hey everyone, hey wellness crew. I am so glad that you're here today to join me for today's practice. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna begin in child's pose. So our, our I'll do it this way. So our butt is on our heels if possible and we are walking our hands forward. Our forehead is on the mat. From there, we're going to go ahead, come up to our hands and knees, and we're going to bring that left arm through to the right hand side, bringing our right palm next to our elbow. And then shoulder stretch. Nice deep breaths. And switching sides. So bringing our right arm through, our head is on the mat, our left hand is close to our elbow, have a bit of a spinal twist happening. bring our knees and our hips in alignment. We're going to walk our hands forward for puppy hug. You can have your forehead on the mat or you can have your chin on the mat if you're extra flexy. We're going to go ahead, get on our forearms, scoot them back, and get on to our hands so we can come into a seated position. We're going to have our right knee over our left, so our legs are crossed, but the right knee is on top of the left knee. We're going to bring our hands into prayer position, and we're going to go ahead and bring our left elbow to the outside of our right thigh. Coming back to center, we're going to go ahead, bring our hands down, we're going to uncross our legs, and then we're going to bring our left knee over our right, coming into a nice tall posture, bringing our hands together for that prayer position, and we're going to bring our right elbow to the outside of our left thigh. And having back and things like that. It's totally normal in this position since it is a spinal twist. And if you can, try to have your hands be positioned right where your sternum is. And coming 
and back to center. We're going to go ahead and bring our right leg forward with our knee bent so we can get into pigeon. So we have our left leg straight behind us. We have our right knee bent. And ideally, if you can get it to 90 degrees, that's great. But if that's something you need to work up to, don't worry. It's totally okay. So we're going to go ahead. You can start if you would like. If you're new to this, you can start with your hands right by your uh, leg. If you can take a little more, you can go ahead and come on to your forearms. And if you still want to have a deeper stretch, you can extend your arms straight out overhead, bringing your forehead to the mat. go ahead walk our hands in we are going to switch legs if you would like to kind of kick out that right leg feel free and we're going to go ahead and bring our left leg forward with the knee bent having our right leg nice and straight behind us and we're going to go ahead and you can start with your hands by your leg if you want more, you can get onto your forearms. And if you want even more, you can extend your arms and go ahead and bring your forehead to the mat. We're going to go ahead and walk our hands in. You can go ahead and kick out that left leg if you need to. We're going to come into a seated position. And we're going to go ahead and bring our legs out into a straddle. So as wide as you can go. We're going to start with having our fingertips on the mat, kind of pushing, feeling that stretch in the inside of our thighs. Trying to bring our shoulders back and down. Going ahead, releasing the legs, bringing them in, bending them just a bit, moving your knees side to side. And that is all I have for today. Thank you again so much for watching and for being a part of contributing to my channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and or join. It is popping off in the membership. <laughs> and I will see you on the next video. Be well. Stay wild.